what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be the recap for chucky season 2 episode 7 episode 7 starts with jake making a confession to father bryce he confesses to all of this death being his fault or what he perceives to be his fault and he names his dad nadine devin's mom and others just some of the deaths he blames himself for the episode jumps back to jake handing over good chucky to dr mixter Good Chucky cries and Dr. Mixter tells him that the Charles she knows kills with no remorse. Kyle comes in with a gun to discuss the trade between her and Dr. Mixter relating to Chucky and Nika sharing a body. Father Bryce asks if they are just talking about if they are talking about an exorcism and Mixter says Bryce might be useful after all. Tiffany is shown in a diner trying to hide undercover, but the news makes it hard because of the manhunt, so she runs out without getting Glenn's order because Glenn wanted something to eat from inside this diner. Tiffany is freaking out because she doesn't want to go to jail and suggests switching back into the doll body. Jennifer says she doesn't want her body back now that it's wanted for murder. So in the back of the seat, you have Jennifer, who, again, we know has been revealed alive. She's in the Tiffany doll. Lexi is shown mourning Nadine and she feels very bad about it, obviously. She asks if Jake and Devin even have something in common these days besides Chucky anymore and questions if they even like each other. Lexi takes drugs after the boys leave. We jump to Glinda, Andy, Father Bryce, Catherine, Kyle, Nika, Dr. Mixter, Jake and Devin preparing for the exorcism. Father Bryce tells them they'll all need to make confessions prior to this. Kyle and Andy reunite. Nika introduces herself to Andy for the first time. I just realized that these two never met at any point in time since Nika's been since they both have been back. Well, not even back since Andy's been back in 2013 and Nika was introduced in 2013. Andy and Nika, they never shared a scene together. Genuinely, there is that moment in Cult of Chucky, but that wasn't Nika. Uh, so they have their moment. They introduce Nika says none of this will be over until Chucky is dead. Jake asks Devin if he believes Lexi's words about not having anything in common are true. And Devin just walks off. Nice Chucky tells Jake he's sorry about Nadine, but attacks him. And Glinda has to stop Jake from hurting the dog. Because again, nice Chucky doesn't exist. Nice Chucky was a facade. It was a front the whole time, it seems. Nadine visits Lexi as an angel. And Lexi is definitely either, I'm saying she's either high or she's hallucinating this. Because the way it comes off after she's taking her drugs, she has to be high. Nadine asks Lexi why she's still taking drugs. And Lexi says nothing else works. And what does it matter because she's gonna die anyway nadine tells lexi she's brave and she'll get through this andy makes a confession to father bryce that the actual end of chucky actually terrifies him because chucky has been his whole life so this is a highlight of how andy hasn't really done much with his life and how he's kind of had hurdle after hurdle after hurdle because of chucky and how the only thing that's really been consistent in his life is a murderous doll which is really sad father bryce is shown making a phone call to the pope catherine is present in the room and bryce reveals he has been excommunicated father bryce defies the vatican and goes rogue to still perform the exorcism seems like this is shades of the conjuring and of course obviously the exorcist uh so father bryce defies the vatican and goes rogue to still perform the exorcism because he has a duty to those kids ruth is in lexi's room uh telling her she can kill herself with those pills but lexi says she's done with those and ruth can have them ruth says not not quite dear in like a sick way and then we cut to glenn cut back to glinda Glinda is interacting with Chucky because they have questions and demands Chucky to answer them. They say Chucky and Tiffany lied to them and Glenn their whole lives. Glinda asks why did they lie? Chucky says he'll explain if Glinda goes to get the knife they stored behind the church back in the day. Glinda says no and recognizes that their parents are trash. Glinda storms off and Chucky says no matter what they are, they are his kid and they are a killer too. Glinda makes a confession to Father Bryce and asks to say a prayer for Glenn. The exorcism is underway with nice Chucky doll and everyone is present for this inside of the church. Father Bryce throws holy water on Chucky saying the power of Christ compels you. Chucky says he isn't scared to go to hell because he's from <laughs> he's from Jersey. Tiffany is shown having her car worked on. She can't wait to be a doll again. Jennifer is escaping her restraints and Tiffany doesn't notice it. Glenn is keeping her distracted and while Jennifer escapes the car she is killed by an oncoming truck 
truck when she runs into traffic so that's why i was talking about in my review i'm talking about the twist this was the twist and why it's useless is because she's just dead anyway she should have been kept dead shucky starts to taunt devin saying his mom sucks cocks in hell obviously a reference to the exorcist everyone is chanting have mercy on us and him chucky vomits onto the father more exorcist references chucky asks how it felt when nadine was killed it seems the nice chucky really was just again and an act the whole time chucky goes lifeless but it's a trick and father bryce is bitten by the doll the blood causes chucky to reawaken inside of nika kyle doesn't let that last for long and punches nika to make her return the exorcism seems to be working as chucky lifts off the table as the power of Christ compels you, it's continued to be chanted by everyone. The doll falls back to the table. Father Bryce has become possessed by Chucky, and Chucky makes his body explode. Dr. Mixter reminds everyone that they have a deal in place and they need to get back on track and stop worrying about Father Bryce. Nika performs the Heart of Nimbala spell over, over the Chucky body. The soul of Chucky inside of Nika awakens inside of the doll. Jake grabs it and tries to drown it in holy water. Ruth walks in with Lexi at gunpoint, so Jake stops. Ruth says she'll spare Lexi in return for Dr. Mixter and their lord and savior chucky chucky tells jake it's unfortunate jake couldn't kill him and he hopes it's not an issue in the bedroom with devin chucky says so long and to see them soon before dr mixter walks off with the doll glinda kills ruth by throwing a knife at her eye lexi breaks free and embraces devin and jake andy picks the gun up and runs after dr mixter shooting chucky in the face in the process dr mixter runs away but andy finishes off the doll with seven more bullets glinda is shown cleaning off their knife chucky's body is burned in fire kyle and andy reflect on what they should do now that chucky is gone we even get a small child's play two reference as they exit the scene glinda and nika talk about what nika will do now that chucky is gone nika says she doesn't know maybe watch a movie she asks glinda how they feel and they say like an orphan tiffany pulls up at the school with glenn she sees nika glinda tells glenn chucky is dead nika pulls a gun out on tiffany and shoots but glenn jumps in front of the bullet taking the bullet for uh tiffany in the process glinda and tiffany leave to go get glenn some help since they have been shot dr mixer confesses that she is going to unleash chucky onto the world again after all of this and then the final shot we see in this episode is of Dr. Mixter laughing like Chucky and the episode ends. So obviously the question that I had going into the episode at the end is why is she laughing like that? You will get your answer in episode eight during the season finale, unless many of you probably are going to predict it anyway as to why she laughed like that. But that is episode seven for you. Very exorcist heavy in terms of the references, obviously. I thought this episode was okay. I definitely preferred five and six over this one, but I thought it was still a fun episode. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, you can go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.